Hey guys, do you want to live around Disney? I've got the perfect community and the home for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Finders, and today I'm in Winter Garden showcasing a stunning two story model. This house has five bedrooms, four and a half baths, and a three car tandem garage, just over 4,000 square feet. This house is stunning. Hey guys, so if you want to see this home, please give me a call, Joe at 407 484 8458, or email me at Orlando Home Finders at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for instant notifications. For now, Enjoy the tour. Beautiful two story elevation. Three car tandem garage. I know you have grass in front, so these are models. Once it's completed, then they'll put the driveway. But if you're gonna purchase this and build it, you can have that, you'll have that driveway. Covered front porch, the eight foot glass door with custom glass. This is your foyer. As you can see, it is wide also has the upgraded paneling designed on the left that does not come with the home that is a design feature that the builders do to make these models more attractive in the front of the house you have your first bedroom and it is an ensuite very generous sized room here it's your ensuite bath you can see they upgraded this bath you have the I've been seeing this a lot and it is gorgeous. This is your dark bronze framed shower. All right, so framed, but it gives you that accent of that bronze because a lot of people are doing these bronze accents. Large format subway tiles in a straight pattern going all the way to the ceiling. And then you have the brown fixtures to match that frame. Gray quartz countertops, bronze uh, faucet, white shaker style cabinet. And you can see it has the 12 by 24 tile floors in a straight pattern. Very well done. All right, so walk-in closet. Who doesn't love a large walk-in closet for your ensuite? So if you have a relative, somebody that doesn't want to go upstairs, that's the room for them. Doors leading into this gorgeous office. So flex space den, you could do a lot in here. But this is, I really love how they did this office. Very well done. So you can see in this main living area, you have the large format wood look tile floors. Before I enter that gorgeous space, Let's go to this laundry room. You have the drop zone over here with your hooks for your bags. All right. Two car front load. And then this is the tandem over here. So it's a deep, you put a good sized car there. Three car tandem garage. I would love to have a three car. Three car is awesome. So you can see you have the upgraded sink in here. 42 inch cabinets. This is all upgrades here. You have the drop zone cabinets. Really cool stuff here. Before I enter that way. Storage underneath the stairs. And then here you go. Open concept floor plan with this large kitchen. Extremely elegant kitchen right here. You have the brown Shaker style cabinets, upgraded quartz countertops. That island is really awesome. So you have seating on the outer corner in on the perimeter. 
So six chairs total. This has the gourmet kitchen structure with the microwave and the oven on the wall, industrial range hood, glass cooktop. So this looks like the GE Profile uh, induction. I'm not sure if this is the induction, but it has some really cool features. If you're a gas user and you're coming from the north, induction is the way to go. So here you go, your industrial GE profile. That is an upgrade. So you have larger cabinets here. As you see, you have 42 with the extended crown molding. And then you have larger cabinets that's over there. So those are 50 inch cabinets, even larger possibly, with the elegant crown molding over there. Stainless steel appliances with the refrigerator. So much going on in here. All right, so you have your upgraded glass. Those are per. And then you have this elegant pendants. Okay, so French door style here. And this is deserving of these French doors. Look at this walk-in pantry. It's very nice. What's not to love about a large walk-in pantry that has French doors? All right. Over right across, you have your formal dining or kitchen nook, however you want to use it. If you don't notice by now, you have 10 foot ceilings in here, which just gives you that open feeling. The tray ceiling here gives you that extra ceiling height. Just really feels like you have a lot of elbow room in here. Family room, large triple slider. Going out to your covered lanai. Two large windows on the left in the family room. Another view from here. Really beautiful. All right, so let's go to the back. All right, so two story homes, you're going to get more backyard, but as you'll see it, you still don't get that much backyard, all right? So just to manage your expectations here, this is an oversized covered lanai. Not sure if that's an upgrade. It could possibly be an upgrade, but this is your backyard. You can see you have enough for a good sized pool. And then you are, you can see over here, this is about five feet from the fence. But this is fantastic. I, I'm ready to jump into that, that pool. You got the water feature. So the more features you have on your pool, the more expensive your pool is. $50,000 to $100,000 for pools over here, depending on what you get. This is a <laughs> premium lot whenever you see pond behind you. Wow, super relaxing. All right, let's go inside. Love these big triple sliders. Even though they don't pocket out, I'm not gonna pocket out, but you still let your indoor living become part of your outdoor living. Another glass door to go out, and then you have your half bath here. Standard pedestal, but you have the upgraded sink. Uh, you have the upgraded faucet, really nice. Beautiful wallpaper, 20 by 20 tile floors. In the master, most, most of the times they put carpet in the bedrooms, but this has the upgraded carpet here. Look at this tray ceiling, very elegant tray ceiling with the recessed lights. Those are upgrades, always upgrades. Two large windows behind the bed window in the back here as you can see that's a huge king size bed large side tables big furniture in here still has a lot of elbow room all right 
let's go into this elegant master bath. Look at this, separated his and her vanity. That's the water closet in the middle. Created cabinets and then you have your frameless shower with the tile that goes all the way to the ceiling. So you have 12 by 24 vertical pattern and staggered. Really great. So that's something you guys are looking to decorate your, upgrade your bathroom. That gives you a lot of dimension. You have the soap niche, the shower niche over there. And then this is a great feature. A lot of people love this freestanding tub. This is a very big freestanding tub oval. And then might as well watch some TV while you're chilling in your tub drinking some wine. All right. So this is a large walk-in closet. I've been saying large a lot because this house is very large. But this is a great size walk-in closet. Ottoman in the middle there. Look at this. All right. I don't know. I get confused with this. I usually know what quartz and granite is, but I've been seeing this and I got to look into it because it does not look like granite because it's so gorgeous, the pattern. All right, so you have again that mocha glazed full overlay cabinets over there, the brushed handles. Man, this house is big. Let's go to the second floor. If that wasn't there, this would be a knee wall, half wall. You have your upgraded handrails with the iron spindles, hardwood stairs, and hardwood risers. Landing over here also is hardwood, and it's upgraded all the way around. So you'll see that that could all be drywall, but it is upgraded fully to have the rails and iron spindles. And not to mention, it flows, the hardwood flows throughout this main space up here. So this is your game room. I really like how they divide it with the shelves here so it gives it dimension. Also has the tray ceiling with the architectural wood beams in that X pattern, really cool. Two windows over there. Then this is it. You want the media room? I love how they designed this media room. It's so great, like, it's like a sofa bed couch, and then you got your pillows, dark walls. So this is fully blacked out, has the LED lights. Love how they, how they have the lights around the uh, Harry Potter and the Marvel. AC. All right, let's go to the three bedrooms that are up here. Let's start with the front here. Gorgeous room right here. Space, a lot of space in here. Walk-in closet, its own window. I love that. This is an ensuite, fully upgraded bath. So you're gonna spend money on these baths. As you see this bath, it's it's a lot of money in here because you have the quartz countertop, shaker style, white cabinets, that's like a level four. Then you got higher end flooring here, 20 by 20s. And then you have large format subway tiles. This is great. This is like a light gray herringbone style pattern. It does not go all the way up, but it still looks gorgeous. Transom window to get that natural light and give you privacy. So you see hardwood floors. Hardwood floors is one of the most expensive upgrades. If you can afford it, do it. If you can't, wait till after. Oversized counter. 20 by 20 tiles in here. There's no light in that shower area, so. Then you have two more large bedrooms. Very generous sized bedrooms here. I'm gonna to have to go to that closet because it is walk-in. I like to walk into the walk-ins. It's not a standard closet, and it is not. Look at this. Your 
own window. So this one's even bigger than that other one. I'm just kidding. Own light. There you go. All right. Sure, that's an HVAC, but let's go open it. No. Huge. That's a great sized storage closet. Had the wood, uh, hardwood flowing into there as well. This is your final bedroom. Let's go into the walk-in closet. Well done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour. So as you see this model, how much does it cost? It will all depend on you. So everything, the base price of the home, base elevation, all your structural options, the lot premiums, and the upgrades that you choose. So if you want to build this house, give me a call, Joe at 407-484-8458, or email me at orlandohomefinders at gmail.com. Hey guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell for instant notifications, and I tell you, thank you so much for watching my channel. Hey guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you around the neighborhood.